Okay. We have a uh, uprooted hangar that we're dealing with today. I'm not actually sure how to deal with it, but I think I will climb up that aspen and just anchor up there and just hang around and cut these tops off. Hopefully this will hold and not break down on the fence, though I have my doubts about that. Actually on second thoughts, I, I think I want to try and cut it here because I, I just can't see a way to um, to get the branches out of there when I first cut them, you know, it's... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just all checked in there. I think what I'll do is I'll try cutting hair first, all of these, and see what happens to the stem. And yeah, just, just kind of see where it goes. And, and if it doesn't work, then obviously it's... I don't really think it's done any more harm to it. And I'll just go up there and, yeah. Thing that I think is going to be hard with it if I climb is that everything has to be lifted up and thrown out, and it'll just make a mess everywhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll just try that. So it's starting to drop a lot. So try to save it by putting this stem in here. I'm not too hopeful though. Look at that, that's that done. Uh, um, this tree is was kind of gnarly, I did not like that at all. I did not find that fun, or like, yeah, I found it fun I guess, but I didn't find it like pleasurable or whatever you would call it, satisfying. Satisfying is the word I was looking for. That was sketchy, and it kind of still is. 
Though it's not going to slide back towards me. I'm standing here looking at it right now. It's looking like this. There's just pretty much all the limbs gathered right here. So what I might do is I, I'll probably cut some of those trees and just drive that log trailer and park it here and just pull them out. <coughs> Putting them in the bed and then driving them probably for firewood. I don't know. What is this? Is it cotton, cotton wood? Is it? Uh, I think it might be cotton wood. Yeah. It, it um, sheesh. That was gnarly. I, if it is cotton wood, which I'm not sure if I don't cut these trees a lot, I'm still getting into that. Um, if it is, it's the first time I ever cut it, I think. And, um, wow, what a mess. Super gnarly mess. Like, I, I wouldn't walk under it, but I might actually do it just to have a look at it. Like, what it's looking like. Yeah, it's safe to walk under it. I'd probably sleep under that. Okay, I probably, yeah, actually I probably would sleep under that. But it's not going anywhere. It's like a shelter, kind of. Just a lot bigger. Yeah, you cut these and they're all going to go down. I think I'll just drive the log trailer and just pull them out. But that's, that'll be for another day. I also want to point out that this Husqvarna is just, wow. I didn't use the 540i uh, XP today. Because... I, I'm having trouble with the bar. It's a panther bar and it's just giving me trouble. Also this... Oh, it's a loose chain. Oh. There's probably a bit too much. Maybe I stretched it a little bit. I want to point out, I did all of that on one BLI 200X uh, battery. It was starting to die on me all the way in the end. We got, we got one more. Like, it's basically gone then. But, you know, this saw is just underrated. There's not a lot of videos about it. Like, people using it probably just didn't kick off that much but god do I like this saw it's such a good saw I'm running a 12 inch bar I think yeah 12 inch bar and it's just cutting great and I love the thing and I love the 540 as well but I probably have to change to back to the um, normal Husqvarna bars or something but yeah that's that um, I'll just cut this thing up um, I got a little snack for that, actually, so let's get to that. My steel chainsaw, which I've had ported by a, I'm going to call it a local because Norway is such a small country. He basically reached out to me and asked me if, um, if, if I wanted one of my saws ported and I had this 064 laying around, which actually isn't ran that much. When I bought it, it was, well, they said it was around five tanks or so. It has fairly little scratches around it. It's basically that on the starter house. And other than that, it's pretty, pretty smooth. So I had it uh, ported and I've got a 20 inch bar on it. I'm getting on a longer one. I just haven't gone around to it yet.
Så det er uten tvil fordobling på respons. Altså, han er veldig kvikk nå. Masse kvikk han har før. Han var kvikk, men 064 er liksom halv. Det er sterke saker, men det er litt sånn halv og at det på en måte føler jeg da. Men han minner meg veldig om en 044. Jeg fikk prøve i startene å... Denne saken er rå, altså. Så nå gjenstår det å få full rap på han og litt lengre sverd, så skal vi se... Trenger du lengre sverd? Ja, ja. Hva skal du med en sånn sak hvis du ikke har lengre sverd? Så... På denne skal vi klaske på i 240 tommer, og... Den blir jo selvsagt et spesialoppdrag. Havde du nok mye på veggen, men det er jo litt... Litt tøft å ha. Det er bedre å ha noe du ikke trenger, enn å trenge noe du ikke har. Var det en klok mann som sa? These are your teeth on this chainsaw. For... For this cut. A little bit of a gullet. So it's obviously not an optimized chain and it was cutting extremely well. So it's a lot better response in it and it's just absolutely pulling through every cut. It died a little bit when I was changing the um, angle of the cut. That's probably because you're kind of pressing it down as you're changing the angle and that probably gets kind of heavy for any saw basically. Um, yeah. It's, it's hard for me to choose between this and the uh, 362. I really do love the 362 after the West Coast saw upgrades on it. It's just kick ass. I'm going to put a max flow on it and a full wrap. Then you have a chainsaw for some special needs. Because that is a special need in this country. We don't have beast trees. You would need a 42 inch bar for this. There is, however, some cases where you do need bigger chainsaws. Such as this um, spruce right here. Now, obviously, the camera doesn't catch how girthy this thing is. Recording upwards kind of gives the explanation for it. It's it's pretty it's pretty big. Look at the roots on this thing. Um, the house is there, N not ours, the one that I was doing this job on, and uh, the, the spruce is luckily leaning that direction, which is up towards nothing. And I don't think there is a chance of this thing going. It looks super healthy. Looking down in the roots, it's um, it's looking really good. I actually look at this pretty often, not, not pretty often, but every now and then, just to check it. And... <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what would have become of this tree if it was fall. The firewood obviously is just out of the... It, I mean, probably you could do firewood, but it's probably kind of rotten inside. I, probably not either. I, I don't really know. I, I can't picture. You can't, you don't know what's inside a tree until you fall in it, but... Most people would just assume that there's a bit of rot inside one of these trees. And, uh... I, I honestly don't think it is rot inside of this tree, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching that. If you like that, then uh, please hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a short, kind of simple video. I forgot my GoPro mount for the helmet at home, and uh, yeah. That's just how it is sometimes, bad camera views. It just happens, and I'll, I'll do the best of it. I, I guess it more or less ended up like a um, testing video for the OR64, which uh, I'm happy that I got to do, because I've been so excited to try it out. There's no doubt that that did a lot to the chainsaw. Like, he said to me that he would just barely touch it a little bit, but if that's barely touching, then I don't, I don't know. It was something else then to the uh, 362. God, yeah, I really like that. So I, I really recommend to to uh, all of you who at least have the ability to or, or can use him. I, I, I recommend using him. He really knows how to do it. 
there's no doubt. I haven't tested it for a long time, but I've used it a couple times, and um, yeah, no doubt that he, he knows what he's doing. He also has a lot of pictures on his Instagram and uh, on Facebook in general. I'll tag him. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.